fix my hair. Hi guys. Don't start it yet. Our house is cold. <laughs> hair's all tangly. I didn't even brush my hair. I'm honored to be, make a guest appearance today. Okay, today. Oh, I'm Paige. And I'm her fiance, Max. Yeah, you have to look at the camera. <laughs> I like looking at you. It really, it really calms my nerves. We wanted to film a video. We have our like premarital counseling today, and we were like, okay, so in honor of our premarital counseling today, we were like, maybe we should do like a little something like for us and like for you guys to see of like just like warming up like we've been together for seven years but like there's still things like going on seven years you know like we could learn about each other mm -hmm. so and it, that's kind of what sparked this kind of video so i just googled um questions 30 questions to ask before getting married i don't know if we're gonna ask all of them but that's just what we're going off of here okay okay do you just want do you want to just go for let's it? just hop into it okay how did your parents show their love to you while you were growing up? So do I answer that then? Well, yeah, then I can answer. How did they show me love? Well, they would have like, I don't know, sit down, kind of like talks with me, I guess you could say. And like okay. really like try to relate to like how I'm going or how I'm doing or like what I'm going through at that time. Okay, so and they like, really they tried would, to like understand yeah, you? Yeah, they tried to understand me and how I was acting that day or that you're week. You're nervous, you're anything. tapping your leg. I told you. Starface, guys, you make him nervous. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, yeah. yeah. I honestly don't know. Like, my parents got divorced when I was growing up, so it's kind of hard. I don't remember my childhood that much, and I think it's because of everything. But, like, I don't know. I feel bad because I don't... Like, I know, like, my mom, when I was younger, didn't work, and so, like, she, like, had kind of, like, a little daycare thing, and, like, she, we would always, like, she'd love to, like, make all the other kids do, like, crafts and stuff, because I like doing crafts. Okay. I don't know, is, is that, like, not right? And, like, my no. dad would always, I don't know, like, my dad was just always, like, there for me. Like, he would just try to, like, understand me, and just, like... He, he was real with me. Like, my dad yeah. really respects me. And yeah. he still, like, to this day does, like, respects, like, what I say and my opinion. And, I mean, uh, uh, with all my siblings. But, like, it's just something, like, I feel like a lot of parents, you know, like, like, order their children around, kind of. And it's not like my dad just, like, didn't care what we did because he definitely did. Like, it's not like we'd be able to, like, go party all the time or anything. But, like, he, he trusts us. Like, he put trust in us to make the right decisions. And I feel like not that many parents do that. Right. And I think by him doing that, it showed love. Yeah. All right. Do you have... <laughs> These are, like, really intense, really quick. <laughs> <laughs> do you have trust issues or insecurities? Uh, I would say younger, when we were younger. Maybe we had, like, a little bit of, like, a trust issue. With each um, other? Yeah. Like that and, like... Just because we were young, yeah. Like, just because we, we were young, doing. yeah. And like, we really never felt this way about really anybody else. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's fair to say. What about like trust issues with other people? Um. Well, you're obviously like the closest person that I'm to. Mm -hmm. I mean, but like, obviously with you. obviously with you right now, I I would not say that I have any trust issues. Oh, good. Good. So when we were younger, yes, but now. Yeah, and younger not because anything happened, just because we, we had no know, idea what we were yeah. doing. We didn't know where it was going. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, she wants to be in the video. Hi. Say oh. hi to the camera. Hi, babies. So. Say hi. Hi, vlog. Hi. Hi. I'm Lux. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, I had a lot of insecurities when I was growing up. Nothing really like, as for, like our trust issues. I agree on. You were always pretty confident. I think. I don't know. I think just like coming from like not like a broken home, but just like a separated home. Like, I didn't really like none of my friends really had that, so I just felt like I couldn't like talk about a lot of things because they couldn't really relate. So I was kind of like something I was insecure about. But other than that, I mean, not really. How do we make decisions together? We just had an argument about we this. Actually just like, did. yeah, that's kind of also what sparked the video. <laughs> um, we are, I guess you could say, like trying to improve on that because, oh, well, <laughs> both of us are very opinionated, like people, to a to a point. I'm. I can I interrupt? Yeah. 
I am very verbally opinionated. Like I will like instantly like and snap a finger like speak my mind and like I I guess to the point where it's like almost like brutally honest and I don't mean it that way. I'm just kind of like a blunt person because I don't know. I used to I used to Definitely like avoid it but and where Max is more of like he doesn't say what's wrong or say if someone's doing something he doesn't like. He just will be spiteful and kind of just like do things to like but, irk me yeah. and make it worse, but he won't say he's even mad kind of thing. Yeah. So when it comes to making decisions together, we have been trying to find more of a common ground. Like instead of me doing whatever I want and him doing whatever he wants, we're trying to be like, if Max wants to stay out here till midnight and I want to go to bed at nine, like we'll stay in the living room till like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And meet in the middle. Yeah, like so we're trying to like find common ground or like I don't know. Yeah, like things like that. So Whoa. If we get stuck in our marriage, are you willing to seek outside help with a counselor? Anything to save our love. I mean once you I, in my mind like Hopefully once, we know we like would once never you're have married, to get to that point. like that's like in, to me, and I guess this could be like even another question, like how do you feel about like, say like we're really, or like we're married and like we're in it for the long haul and like a couple years down the road, we're like, you know, like I don't think I can do this anymore, like I'm done, like I'm like, how would you, like what would you do in that situation? Well, I would obviously like seek help, I think. But, I'd say like a pastor I mean, like, too, I would yeah, probably like, too. Yeah, but like divorce or like splitting up would be like the absolute like last I don't I ever want it to come to that. I don't like believe in that. Like I think, I don't know if it's because I came from like a divorce home, but uh, like once you're married, like you're in it, yeah. man. Like there's, <laughs> you're in it. <laughs> How much alone time do you need? <clears throat> I would say, I don't know, maybe like a, like a hour or so, maybe a day. I would, I get that like on my rides to and from work. Mm -hmm. So I just, that's basically uh, he has like a 30 time. 45 minute drive to work there and back every day yeah so that's about all i need really so when you come home you don't want a long time i mean not not really i, I like I I extra like, annoying that day i like spending time with you and watching our shows and just catching up on the day and stuff like that so well i feel like till we come home from work honestly like if we took a long time like we wouldn't have together time yeah because we'd be like yeah. In bed already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And I, I don't really, I don't know. I do like alone time. I don't really require a certain amount. Like it just depends on like my headspace. I don't know. Yeah. Just depends on the day and how it went, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, agreed. But I get that in the mornings because you leave so much earlier than me anyway. Usually right. I can get that, you know, by myself in the morning. What are your thoughts about having debt? You know, I feel like it's inevitable to a point. Like, yeah, especially like in today's day and age. Yeah, you're gonna have some debt. Obviously, I don't like debt. I don't like being in debt, but I mean. Between like school, yeah. buying a house, businesses, like cars. Yeah, you're gonna be in debt. <laughs> yeah, but obviously like we don't yeah. like max out credit cards yeah. just to spend money. Like we don't, don't really spend money we don't have unless it's like, you know, like a car or like when it comes to buy a house, like those and like school loans, right. like we those things are inevitable. But as far as like charging a credit card all the time, we don't really we don't do that. Really. Yeah, I would agree. How do we handle conflict and how can we be better about it? We kind of talked about that actually when it said about I forget what the question was, but just we're meeting in the middle. Yeah. Trying to trying to trying communicate. To. Communicate is key. Communication is key. What? Oh, what does this even mean? What are the boundaries we want to put in place when it comes to dealing with the opposite sex? What does that even mean? Like, if like a girl's like coming up at ya, like, is that what it means? Like, where we like saying like, uh-uh, pal, like, no go. I'm married, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> he would never, he's too nice. He'd be like, excuse me, miss. I, I married. <laughs> It actually probably would get something like that. <laughs> That's, or no, you say ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Miss. Miss? Miss. You do stuff like that all the time. Excuse me, miss. I don't think you understand my situation. <laughs> That's probably very accurate. <laughs> I'm pretty bold. I would just be like, uh, back it up, drop it down, and swing it down. <laughs> back, 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 no, back it up. No, honestly, like, we've, like, talked about this too. Like, so in your mind, just, like, to elaborate on this question, like, Define like cheating like what would someone do to be cheating in your book? 
You know what I mean? Like, do you think like just yeah. sleeping with someone else is cheating or like, like what is cheating to you? This is like, not, I mean, like, we've talked about all of this stuff ourselves, but this is just like, I have like more of a younger audience anyway, and you know, people that maybe like are in a newer relationship and don't, you know, want to get to know their right. significant other and don't know like really what to even look for. These are things we've talked about, I mean, from the beginning, like things that were important to us too, like our morals that we've, because if you're not on the same page with something like this, like if someone thinks like texting another person like regularly is cheating and someone else thinks and your partner thinks just sleeping with them like that's a big miscommunication yeah. there yeah i don't know how to put it in the like in my mind cheating to me would be when you were like actively and regularly like engaging in conversation with someone else whether and it's you, phone calls and you texts, know what you're doing like real life like you yeah. are well aware that you were like doing something making wrong. them a priority in your life yeah. like it does like if i was talking to someone i would not feel right telling max about it to me that that's cheating i wouldn't even say it's cheating it's just like no go like that's yeah. like crossing the line like it's yeah. not good for your relationship um I, I guess i wouldn't define it as cheating but like i would not be okay with it right. like it'd be like a big right bump in their yeah. road but then obviously like cheating like just like randomly making out with someone like to right. me that's actually yeah. like physically cheating yeah. but yeah you know. right do you feel like we have enough heart-to-heart -heart conversations to connect us emotionally? Uh, I feel like we've been having more of them. I agree. Um, but and I... And I haven't even been forced. It's been just happening. Yeah. But I feel like those are like the best kind of conversations. Mm-hmm. It's heart-to-heart. -heart. Yeah. But, uh, I agree. You really get to definitely, understand each other. Definitely a good heart-to-heart -heart every once in a while is... I think we have one almost daily. Do you think? Maybe not quite that much. Yeah. Not daily, but like once every like day or two. Um, bu 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 bu. <laughs> How do you handle your anger? Um, <laughs> my anger, I do not handle it well at all, I don't think. I don't think either of us handle I, anger well. I coop mine up, basically. And you're like, like, not spiteful with it, you're like... Like it, like I don't know how to explain I, it. I don't get You're like it. secretive about yeah. your anger. Like I, pen, I pen it all up, and then it's like. But then he'll do like sabotage. Not sabotage. That sounds really intense. But like little things, like he'll like intentionally like leave the garbage full, or like put a like cup in the sink just to like get like like he like nitpicks when he's angry just to make like. Try to make the other person like yes. like try to make my presence felt that I'm like. Like make it know he's angry, but he is not. Like, to get him to, like, explain his feelings, like, I mean, I really have to, like, baby it out of him. Yeah, like, he will not just come and be like, you made me mad because you did this. Like, and I'm, like, going off, like, every other hour. Not right. literally, but kind of literally. <laughs> but no, I, I've always been that way. I know I haven't been good at, like, expressing, like, why or how yeah. or what me. I used to be that way. Like, I was just, like, always scared to say, like, I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And now... It's like better. once I hit a certain age and things happened in my life, like I just realized like people are walking all over me because I'm not saying how I really feel. And I was like, no, like I want to be in charge. I want to be in charge of how I feel. Like therapy did me well yeah. and I learned a lot about myself. And I honestly have taken like, a, like when Max and I like first met, like I was worse than he was. Like he would not know like if I was nervous, if I was mad, if I was sad, if I was even happy, like I would just be like, like, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Do you expect or want me to change in certain areas? Um, I think that we... <laughs> I'm just there's, laughing there's, because there's, of our argument we just had before this there's video. There's always room to change. Yeah. No matter what. Um, some stuff. Of course, you want, you want the fix or change more so, but... Um, Right now, I don't think that there's a whole whole bunch just that our I'd like to change, but just like our communication and just be more, what I want to say, like, don't beat around the bush so much, just kind of... Are you changing this about me or you? Because I don't no, beat around the bush. This no, is what you want to change about no, me. me. Oh, about you? Yeah. Just, no, just, I like, I like you because, or how I you like done? you too. <laughs> I love you. I lo but no, uh. I like I like how you are so bold because I'm not bold and it you express your feelings to me like 
okay, like here it is. But you do you know wish I, mean? I wasn't so no, old? No, no, no. So what would you change about me then? Um, I wish you could come to me like not as angry <laughs> sometimes and like kind of more of a, a calm, a calmer page. Like you wish I could approach things in more of a calm yeah, manner instead yeah. of getting so like worked up and like yeah. emotionally attached right away. Yeah. I, I jump to conclusions like we're dumping over puddles or something because it's true. I wish you would just tell me what you're thinking sometimes. And like honestly, like we're at the point where we're like, I know him so well. So like we both have anxiety, but Max's is a little bit different and he kind of like outwardly shows it more, but doesn't realize that like he'll be like tapping his legs or um, like he like does this thing with his beard. I don't even know. And I'll be like, does your stomach hurt? And he'll be like, no. And he'll keep doing it. I said, are you sure your stomach doesn't hurt? Well. I don't mean to interrupt. But she's been chewing on her leg. Come on. Come on. Oh, you got it. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's continue on. Are we both good at apologizing? Uh, yeah. But in different ways, I think. Yes. I mean, you go ahead. <laughs> I think it all depends on what we're apologizing about. I'm pretty quick to apologize. I'm quick to get mad and I'm quick to apologize. Me, on the other hand, I'm not quick to apologize. Because you don't explain, because you, half the time you are ready to apologize and haven't even told me you're mad. That's true. true. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, like I am the type of person, like I won't go to, like I, I physically like will not go to bed angry. It's like, I don't know, something I've promised myself since I was younger that I just, it's something I won't do. Like, what if, you know, it's like, that's how you end things. Right. Like, what if, you know, we never speak again and that's how it was, like, ended. So, I, by the end of the night, if I've been mad, and I'm usually not mad for more than an hour, honestly. Yeah. Usually, it either, we talked it through or it kind of just, like. Or I call him, like, I'll be in the bed and I'm like, oh, I'm or sorry. It's, or it's something <laughs> kind of silly. Yeah. Then we're, And, like, like we logically, like, really, take our time. Like, why are we, yeah. And give each other space and then we think through, like. This is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we both quick to forgive? For the yeah. most part. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's a genuine apology. And yeah. like, it's not just an apology and then the same thing will keep yeah. happening. Like, it's an apology or forgiveness, right. like, with change that's going right. to come from Not it. like a half ass, wishy washy. Like, yes. Yeah. Do we truly listen to each other and fairly consider one's opinion, sides, and complaints? Uh, I would say that sometimes are better than others with that. Yes. I would have like, to agree. Not like that's one of the things that we are very set in our opinions. Yeah. That's something we're trying to change. Yeah. He doesn't like get upset, or you don't like, verbalize your. He just doesn't verbalize his feelings, which is like a lot of our, not issues, but just like miscommunication right. is because you you just keep a lot to yourself. How will we make sure we have quality time together, no matter how busy we get? Well, I think there's always. You, know, you always have to make quality time. Yeah, you keep like you have to make time together a priority. Like, that's definitely important. I mean, like, whether it's, you know, like... Uh, you always need time for each other to, like, talk and... And really, there's no excuse. Stuff. I mean, you should be spending every single night in the bedroom together. So, even if that is the very last time you get to spend time together, that's still time. Like, oh, that doesn't man. mean you need to go to the bedroom and turn on the TV or go right to sleep. Like, that's time together. So, I mean, you just need to make it a priority. Yeah. yeah. Like, work should never come above your relationship, yeah. in my opinion, if you are in a relationship. Yeah. What does faith and spirituality mean to you? A lot. I think having faith and being very open with it, like with each other, um, and like showing it around the house and like making it known mm -hmm. is like... And like even like openly like communicating it with our friends and yeah, family. is huge. I agree. Having nothing to hide. Yeah. I like being open, being like vulnerable with it and yeah. not being afraid to talk about it. Yeah. And Lux is on our laps if you're wondering like why we're like looking down. She's so cute. She's laying on both of us. I show you, but I can't reach the camera. I would agree with all of that. Yeah. It's, and like, I think that, I mean, we're very firm believers, both of us mutually. And I think you would agree. Um, like we both are very firm in believing like everything happens for a reason and it's all part of like whatever happens in life is all part of like God's bigger picture even if we can't understand that. Um, and I think that's a big thing that we yeah. daily are practicing here. <laughs> um, what are some of our financial goals? 
Um, I'm not like for me, I, and I'm just telling you this perfect question. I'm not um, putting like a number on like I'm gonna have this much in my bank account by this amount of time. Like, what are like some big financial things you want to have in your life in the future? Yeah, you answer. Um, like I would like to like have and build a house or home, have it. Like that's a big financial thing. Um, I would like to have my student debt paid off in the next couple years. Um, yeah, those are probably my two big things. Like, oh, there goes a squirrel. Let's just saw the squirrel run across the road. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess financially, I'd also like to be able to like have like a steady income off of like my YouTube and my boutique. Like I'd be able to like, I'd like to financially like be able to support myself and like us, but like from my own businesses. Right. Um, definitely having like l not a whole bunch of debt, but I mean it's comfortable debt, but have mostly what we've always dreamed of in mm -hmm. life. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. having our own build house. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somewhere and um, having some fun toys. <laughs> <laughs> He means cars and four-wheelers and dirt bikes, right? Yeah. <laughs>